On a previous video, I talked about removing one of these clutch actuator motors from a Smart 453, which is the same as a, a Renault Twingo and some other cars, I believe. And I um, showed you how to open one of these up and looked inside of a relatively good condition motor. One I bought on eBay and I just wanted to have a little dig around before I take the one on the car to pieces. Um, so just to let you in on the, the story, I bought a 2017 Smart 4.2 Auto um, as a non-runner. Starts but doesn't drive, throws transmission faults. So it could have been anything. I sort of bought it for cheap, thought might be the gearbox, might be the actual clutch, might be the um, fingers, the actuator fingers, or might be one of the motors. So I took a complete punt on it. Anyway, this is the number two, so the lower, I think it's number two. Anyway, the lower motor, the one that sits on the bottom front of the the transmission um as you can see straight away it's fairly corroded uh, i could tell before i even took it off it it wasn't right because you could see all of this all this corrosion here and all of this corrosion here and then the first thing i did when i removed it was i i was it still inside the case i thought i'd try and turn it round and when i went to turn it it was stuck it wouldn't go and then after a really good ch shunt it went round Anyway, so if you listen, it doesn't sound very healthy and the magnet is covered in bits. Now I have removed the bearing from the top of this one because I've taken the bearing off of this one to use on another one that's got a noisy bearing at the top. But anyway, this particular one, what I can see has happened is it's obviously got some water ingress, but I don't think that's what killed it because you can see it's you know a little bit of corrosion down inside the, the stators. But what has definitely killed it is this disc on the bottom that spins with the shaft, I don't know if you can see it there, it's that white disc, on the other side of that disc there's a reference plate with some magnets on, now that has become detached from the motor, I spin it, you can see it moving freely and you can hear it clicking around and that's what's actually used by the, the TCU to work out the position of this motor and as soon as that's not moving with the motor then that's it, game over, the gearbox isn't going to function. So this one's clearly dead, uh, I'll probably use the bearing to rescue another one but I thought I'd show this to people because I haven't really seen any information on these I haven't seen anyone else tearing one down or talking about it but it seems ridiculous to just buy something and replace it if it can be fixed clearly this one can't be fixed but another one I've got potentially can be fixed with the, the upper bearing but this one's yeah she knackered but if you're getting a funny noise so basically, when you did try to put the car into gear, you could hear something rattling and clunking and making awful noises. And it was literally this motor spinning around. Uh, I have just fitted another motor to the car and it is perfect. So I can happily say it was this. So, yeah, if you've got any comments or other information about these motors or the transmission on the Smart, whack it in the comments. Thanks for watching.